Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys, we're going to take a look at just an absolutely stunning 1970 Chevrolet CST, CST10 short box. 4,400 miles on a complete nut and bolt frame off restoration impressive truck guys I uh, drove it a little bit down there when I bought it um, but I drove it up here and I'm telling you man this thing drives I've got a 66 set aside for me and I'm telling you this thing drives probably better than that very impressive with the way it drives um, gorgeous paint this is flame red I love the red on red it's got red houndstooth interior um, it's got a, uh, a full roller 396 underneath the hood that sounds outstanding. Uh, it's just impressive. I mean, you have got to be around this truck to really appreciate it. Uh, you can see the, it's got the little uh, killer little cowl hood, all new glass, including one piece side glass. They've lowered it down a little bit. It's got 20 inch uh, chrome wheels all the way around it uh, with Toyo rubber. This truck is bad and it is fun to drive. Georgia trucks, good solid Georgia body. You can see they've updated the headlights. There is not a whole lot to pick on this truck. I'll tell you that right now. This thing is slick. Looks like it's got the original grill here. Oh, I guess I, I apologize. We had somebody call yesterday and complain that I point too much with my middle finger. Yes, we get calls like that. <laughs> uh, chrome and stainless is beautiful. Like I say, just a killer, killer truck. It's got the one-piece side glass. I love the Red Houndstooth interior. Like I said, you know, you get these things and drive them, and there's always some kind of little rattle or something. Man, this thing was nice and tight. Oak bed, you can see they've um, uh, put a new uh, fuel tank in here, a uh, custom fuel tank. There's a couple little splits in a couple of the boards I've seen here. But very, very nice, guys. And it's nice on the bottom as it is on top. Put mirrors underneath it and show it. How nice thing that, that thing is down the side. Sits good. They've lowered it down two inches all the way around. Again, Toyo rubber. Uh, those are rev wheels. Great sounding big block, man. This thing sounds awesome. And it should. It's got Borla exhaust on it, which is very expensive. <laughs> Beautiful build. It's got the dual chrome mirrors, power front disc brakes. This thing is pretty. He said it's a factory big block truck. Now, I don't think you can really prove that, to be honest with you. You got to have the tag in the glove box and it's not there. But this is a 396 cubic inch engine, full roller. You can see Holly dual feed four barrel. It's got a Wii and aluminum intake. It does have aluminum heads, uh, chrome air cleaner, billet valve covers, ETI distributor, power steering, power disc brakes. It's got ceramic headers on it. It's got air that blows cold. Look how nice it is. I mean, just detailed up nice as heck underneath the hood. 400 turbo hydromatic trans, vintage AC, aluminum radiator with uh, dual electric fans. It's got uh, front and rear sway bars. Yeah, little red inner wheel wells. It's 
got polyurethane bushings. Gorgeous truck. Now you say turn the key, take it right to a car show. Too much of a hill here. Again, all new glass. New mirrors. Normally this is where I'd be showing you the vent uh, windows, but uh, it's got one piece glass in it, which is super cool. Door skins are nice and clean. I love this interior, man. New carpet, new sill plates. I mean, it's really everything. Everything's new, new, new. Seats comfortable. Headliner's nice. Tilt column with a sport steering wheel. It's got the uh, Phantom gauges. I think that's a factory dash cluster. Um, they just done it all in Phantom. 4467 on your odometer. Tack and gauges. I think all everything on that was working. Retro sounds radio, padded dash. Um, it is, um, I think I already said that, Borla exhaust. It's got um, front and rear sway bars. It is a 12 bolt 373. Uh, Eaton Posi rear end. It's got four corner. Um, this one hand uh, four corner QA1 coilover shocks. And you can see a couple little splits in the wood. I actually just bought one of these trucks. It's got vinyl plank in it. The guy did that because he has held these trucks and they've done that before. Shut the one hand and we'll see. And we have to shut it. Yeah, you shut it. I can't shut it. Oh, let me show you the bottom here. Again, custom fuel tank, beautiful underneath. Put mirrors underneath it and show it. Beautiful truck.